So welcome everybody to this latest video on 162 Maths and in this video we'll be doing an AQA GCSE Maths Foundation topic test on fractions. Now as always there'll be a copy of the test paper in the description below for you to either have an attempt at before watching this video or while watching this video as we go through the answers. So let's get started on this foundation fractions topic test. So looking at question one, it says put these numbers in order, starting with the smallest, and you must show your working. So what you want to try and do is, now I would say when ordering fractions, try and convert them into decimals. So let's have a look at the first one. So quick, just recap. Now again, we'll pretend that these questions are all on the non-calculator paper, but if they were on the calculator, all you need to do is just enter what we're writing as I'm working out, and you'll have the answer a lot quicker. So here looking at 13 over four, so that's going to be the same as 13 divided by 4 and then if we use the bus stop method we get I should have probably left a bit more space to my 1 and the 3 but I don't think it makes a difference so here we've got 1 and 3 so 4 goes into 1 0 carry the 1 4 goes into 13 and that's going to be 3 times remainder 1 so I add a decimal 4 goes into 10 twice remainder 2 and then 5 so 13 over 4 is 3.25 another way of doing it is dividing by 13 by 2 and then halving that again so then we get 3.25 three and a half well that's 3.5 3.15 is already converted and root 9 is 3 so then starting with the smallest the smallest out of these three numbers is root 9 now notice how I'm writing the original format of the numbers not what I've converted shouldn't really make a difference but again it's always good that if you do write what they've asked you to order so the next smallest is then 3.15 the next smallest is 13 over 4 and the largest is three and a half so moving on to question 2a it says work out one third times one quarter so here all we need to do is when multiplying fractions is we multiply the two numerators which gives us one Multiply two denominators, which gives us 12, and then simplify where possible. Now, this can't be simplified, so the correct answer is 1 over 12. Then moving on to question 2b, it says what fraction is halfway between 1 quarter and 1 half? Now, several ways in which you can do this. One way is to convert them both into decimals, so we get 0 0.25 and 0 0.5. Then to find the halfway number, we'd simply add the two numbers up, and we get 0 0.75. We divide that by 2 and we get 0 0.375 and then all we then need to do is convert this decimal into a fraction so converting this into a fraction we get 0 0.375 over 1 then count how many numbers have i got after the decimal point where i've got three so i'm going to end up with three zeros so it's going to be 375 over 1000 and then we can simplify that which gives us three eighths and that's one way of doing it Another way of doing it is working with the fraction. So if we add the two fractions together, plus a half. Now if I have a common denominator, that's going to be a quarter plus two quarters. That becomes three quarters. And then I divide that by two. So I get three quarters divided by two over one, which then becomes three quarters multiplied by one over two which then gives me an answer of 3 over 8. Alternately, you may already know what 3 point, uh, 0 0.375 equates to 3 8. That's absolutely fine. And for one mark, again, I would say that's quite undermarked for a non-calculator question. Moving on to question 3, it says work out 2 and 1 third plus 1 and 3 quarters. Give your answer as a mixed number. Now for this, I would say it's worth 3 marks, so I would convert both numbers into improper fractions. So here we do the big number times the bottom number, so that's 6, plus the top number, so that's 7 over 3, plus, and then 1 times 4 is 4, plus 3 is 7, so it's 7 over 4. We then want to add these fractions, so I need a common denominator. So a common denominator between 3 and 4 is going to be 12. So then I need to multiply this fraction by 4 and this fraction by 3. So 7 times 4 is 28. 12, uh, sorry, 7 times 3 is 21. Then, as the denominators are the same, we add the numerators, that becomes 49 over 12. The next thing for me that I need to do is to do 12 divided by 49. So, then how many 12s go into 49? Well, that's going to be 4, which gives me 48. And what's the remainder from 48 to 49? That's going to be 1. So, it's 4 and 1 12th. 
For question four, it says work out five and two thirds minus one and four fifths. So again, very similar to what we did before. So convert this into improper numbers. So we should have 50, 17 over three minus, and then one times five is five plus four is nine. So it's nine over five. So here our common denominator here is going to be 15. So I've got to multiply this by five and that by three. So 17 times five, well, that's going to give me 85. And nine times three is going to give me 27. So then 85 take away 27 gives me an answer of 58. So 58 divided by 15, well, that's going to give me, uh, well, 45. So it's going to give me three. And then 45 minus 58 is going to give me 13. So it's going to be 13 fifteenths. Then for our last question, it says 600 people visit a cinema. One quarter go to screen one, 40% go to uh, screen two, and the rest go to screen three. How many people go to screen three? So for this, what we need to do is work out a quarter of 600. Now a quarter of 600 is 600 divided by four, which is going to give me 150 people. Then 40% of 600 well 10 percent is 60 so it's going to be 60 times 4 which is 240 people then screen 3 all i then need to do is do 600 minus 150 which is 450 and then do 450 minus 240 which gives me an answer of 210 and there is our final answer